Hi, my name is Vivian and welcome. Today we're going to do a character breakdown of Bloom Peters from the show Fate the Wing Saga. This is a, sh a Netflix show and this is based off of the cartoon The Wings Club. I have watched The Wings Club when I was younger, so I was excited for this series. <laughs> So Bloom goes through a positive character arc and a positive character arc is when the character believes a lie, rejects the lie, and embraces the truth. Bloom's character goal is that she wants to know who she is. She's trying to find out who she is and trying to find where she belongs in the world. Character first impressions. So Bloom has fiery red hair. She's also a fire fairy and she has difficult time using her magic. Bloom's weakness is that she is emotionally unavailable. In the other world, where Althea the school is located, magic is harnessed through emotion. So you have to be emotionally open to tap into the magic. Bloom's lie. Her lie is that she believes that she can figure things out on her own. Throughout most of the season, this is what she goes off of, but it is a, it feels like a strength at first, but after a while, this lie she goes off of to reach her goal is what causes a lot of problems for her. Okay, so we're going to discuss the symptom of the lie. So with Bloom, the symptom of the lie is that she feels shame. She feels ashamed because she caused the fire in their home that gave her mom third degree burns. And that was the first time she ever used magic as well. After the fire in the home, she runs off and sleeps in this old warehouse until the headmistress of Althea, Miss Dowling, finds her and tells her she's a fire fairy and that she should go to the school, um, Althea, so that she can learn how to control her magic and not put her family in harm's way. Bloom's roommate Aisha represents the truth. She shows Bloom how she is there to help her whenever she needs her. She expresses this throughout the season. Um, also, her other roommates tell her this as well, like Tara, Musa, and Stella are also there for her whenever she needs their help. But Aisha is the persistent one. I mean, she's pretty nosy. The truth Bloom needs to know is that there are people there to help her and that she isn't alone and that there is a place for her in the world. Bloom resists recognizing the truth even when the truth stares her right in the face. And with her ignoring the truth, she gets tangled up with the wrong company. Bloom believes that all she has to do is figure out who she is, learn to control her magic, then she can go back to the first world, which is Earth, and then her life will go back to normal. Don't we all wish life were that easy? Character ghost. A character's ghost is basically what has happened in their past that is fueling the lie that they believe in. In Bloom's case, her and her mother had a big fight. And after the fight, Bloom had so much rage built up inside of her, which sparked a fire and it spread out through her whole home, which caused her mom third degree burns. And that was the first time she ever used magic. And because of that, when Ms. Dowling gave her that offer of attendant Althea, she wanted to figure out who she is without putting her family in any more danger. The normal world in a character arc is supposed to reinforce the lie to the character. So in this case, Althea is seen as a safe place. Act one of Bloom's character arc. So the school is having an orientation party and instead of attending, Bloom is looking through her notes. She has a notebook where she has written down her powers, her emotions, etc. Everything that she has learned about herself being a fire fairy. She goes outside of the school barrier to try and use her magic. And in the process, she starts a fire in the forest. Aisha finds her and she uses her water powers to quench the fire in the forest. Bloom is upset because she believes that she 
was in control and that she could figure this out on her own but clearly she couldn't because she was burning the forest but anyway this is this is just her stubbornness for trying to figure this whole thing out on her own bloom is a powerful fairy with human parents and Aisha tells her that she's a changeling because there's no way someone with that much power can have two human parents. The changeling, which is a human baby gets swapped for a fairy baby at birth. Bloom is more upset and confused because she came to Althea to find out who she is. Now her parents aren't actually her parents. So who are her real parents? Bloom confronts Miss Dowling and Miss Dowling is like, oh, I didn't want to tell you because I wanted to protect you, blah, blah, blah. And now Bloom feels like she can't really trust Miss Dowling because she isn't telling her the truth. She even asks her, do you know who my real parents are? And Miss Dowling is like, no, I do not know. Not only does Bloom have to figure out who she really is, she now has to figure out who her real family is. Yup. It's a mess. Bloom's roommates learn that she's a changeling from Aisha and um, her roommates try to give her some suggestions and Bloom just brushes them off. She tends to do that throughout the series, just always brushing people off, pretending that she's fine and that she doesn't need any help and that she can figure this thing out, but clearly she needs all the help that she can get. Meanwhile, she's still having issues using her magic. And again, she needs to be emotionally open to be able to harness her magic and to control it. Bloom is able to harness her power when she faces a burned one. Her and Aisha together kill a burned one. A burned one is an, a creature that kills people. And if you are cut or injured by one, you turn into them. Unless the burned one that injured the person gets killed. I'm not quite sure how at that time she was able to harness her power. I'm assuming that her fear of the burned ones um, was what she used to tap into her power or maybe it's because she was able to hear the burned ones because the burned ones have been calling her name. Later on, she does tell Aisha that when she opens herself emotionally, she can feel the magic around her. So I'm going to go with her being able to tap into the fear of the burned of facing a burned one is what helped her to harness her power. And with that, now that Bloom is able to harness her power and open herself up emotionally, there is a memory that was embedded in her mind when she was a baby. It was a woman, um, a woman at the time of her birth embedded a memory into her mind saying that when the time comes, come and look for me. And now Bloom is obsessed and is trying to find this woman. She believes that this woman may be her mother or a family member. All right, the second act in Bloom's character arc. So Bloom right now, she is searching the school trying to find out this woman that she has in her memory. And meanwhile, the rumor of her or the news of her being a changeling is spreading throughout the school. Everyone knows that she's a changeling. So she has been avoiding the cafeteria in public places just so she doesn't have to see people talking about her and stuff. And her friends confirm about it, about it and she pretends that it doesn't bother her when clearly it does. You see a pattern here with her, with her personality? Bloom finds out that the woman's name is Rosalind and she goes to the headmistress, Miss Dowling, and asks her about Rosalind. The headmistress, once again, doesn't really give her a clear explanation and lies to her, telling her that the woman is dead. All right, there's a girl named Beatrix that helps Bloom. She's bad news because she killed the headmistress's assistant. She's a murderer. Beatrix helps Bloom even answer some of her questions. And now Bloom feels like, hey, this girl is the only one out of everyone that has actually given me some real answers. Beatrix comes to the conclusion that at the time of Bloom's switch at birth, that switch happened two days after a burning of a village called Asterdale. Well, what does Asterdale have to do with Bloom? Well, what happened is that she, Bloom, was at Asterdale as a baby. And during the burning, she was saved by Rosalind. And Rosalind is the one that did the magic, which made her into a changeling. And why she has human parents. 
Beatrix takes Bloom to Astrodel and shows her the ruins and explains to her that the village was burned down by the headmistress, Miss Dowling, and also two other faculty members. They were trying to kill burned ones, but in the process, they also killed innocent people. Beatrix knows this because her family lived in Astrodel and her family also were killed in the fire. It was Rosalind that saved her too as a baby. Bloom expresses to Beatrix how she would like to talk with Rosalind, but the headmistress told her that she was dead. Beatrix tells her that Rosalind is alive and is actually imprisoned underneath the school and that the reason why Beatrix is there is to free her. When Bloom and Beatrix get back to the school, the headmistress and the other faculty members arrest Beatrix for the murder of her assistant. Bloom's friends are worried about her and she doesn't tell them about the trip or the details of the trip. The headmistress asks Bloom exactly what happened on the trip and Bloom lies to her. Bloom decides that she's going to free Beatrix and then they will both free Rosalind. Because out of everyone, Beatrix has been the one that has gotten Bloom closer to her goal and closer to finding out who she really is. Although Beatrix is questionable company. What Bloom doesn't realize is that her being headstrong and relying on herself to find answers about who she is is what's causing her to make all these bad decisions and also relying on questionable alliances to get to her goal. Bloom has now distanced herself from her friends and is sneaking around. The moment of truth in Bloom's character arc. The moment of truth in a positive character arc is when the character faces the truth one last time and embraces it. Bloom believes that figuring things out on her own is her charm. And the love interest Sky tells her that everyone is broken and that sometimes there is charm in being broken. Meaning that it's okay to admit that you don't have everything together or you are struggling with something. It's all right to ask for help and to be vulnerable. Bloom decides to open up to her friends and tell them that she plans on freeing Beatrix. Her friends disagree with her and don't want to go, don't want to help her with this plan because Beatrix is a murderer. She killed somebody. I wouldn't want to help either. Bloom decides that she's going to go with the plan anyway because this is the only thing she has and the only thing that will help her get her the answers that she is looking for. Bloom's roommates, Tara, Musa, and Stella, they later on agree to help her. Aisha does not want to help. She believes it's a bad idea and instead she goes and tells the headmistress what they are up to. Now with this situation, it's not really ideal because her friends are helping her do something bad, but hey, it's a story. There's supposed to be conflict and poor decision making, so we're gonna go with it. Point is, Bloom has finally asked for help, so that is a break that is the breakthrough in her character arc. Alright, the third act in Bloom's character arc. So Bloom and her friends help free Beatrix, but they double cross her. Of course they'll double cross her. Why would they trust a murderer? I mean, come on. Bloom frees Rosalind with her fire magic and Rosalind tells her that she was kidnapped from her fairy family by blood witches and brought to Astrodel. The plan was they were going to sacrifice her because they knew that she was a powerful fairy. So Bloom's family isn't dead, but she still doesn't know where they are or who they are. Rosalind helps Bloom unleash some powerful ancient magic, but Rosalind has her own agenda. She absorbs the school's magic and it makes the school vulnerable to the burned ones. The burned ones attack the school. Bloom has a plan and asks her friends for help. They agree to help her, including Aisha. Bloom is now going to use the truth to defeat the burned ones. She knows she's a fire fairy, a powerful fire fairy, and she knows that she was taken at birth by blood witches because she was powerful and she became a changeling. She also now knows that with the help of her powerful friends, she can achieve anything. Bloom uses the ancient transformation magic that she learned from Rosalind and she became a full fairy. She uses that magic to destroy the burned ones and the school is now safe again. Bloom now believes it's time to tell her human family the truth. 
Although she doesn't know her fairy family or where they are, she is tired of keeping secrets. So with the help of her friends, she goes back home and tells her family everything. And at that point, the family, her mom and dad, accept her for who she is. At the end, Bloom embraces the truth. She knows that she is not alone and that with the help of her friends, she can get through difficult times. And also, she belongs in Althea where she can be her full self, fairy things and all. Yes, I know that's corny, but hey, we're going to go with it. Bloom went through a positive character arc because she believed a lie, rejected the lie, and embraced the truth. And with the truth, she was able to defeat the antagonistic force, which was the Burned Ones. Question of the day, how can you use Bloom's character arc example in your work in progress? I also have character worksheets below and other resources. The details will be in the description box. Go ahead and click here on the next video. I will talk to you soon. Bye.